Hello, I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. There were over 120 announcements at Google Cloud Next last week, including the new Seoul and Salt Lake City regions, along with updates across the Google Cloud platform, including hybrid cloud, serverless, API management, storage, networking, security, identity, access management, analytics, AI and machine learning, Chrome Enterprise, and much more. Learn more about all of this from the post. Firebase announced lots of new stuff at Cloud Next. The GCP support plan now includes support for Firebase products. You'll be able to filter your Google Analytics for Firebase event reports by any number of different user properties or audiences at the same time. And we improved upon dynamic links to give you the ability to create links with any custom domain you own. For all of the Firebase Cloud Next updates, check out the post at the link below. Cloud Run is a newly announced, fully managed compute platform that enables you to run stateless containers that are invocable via HTTP requests in a language and framework of your choosing. The Cloud Firebase hosting integration allows you to use this architecture as a backend for a web app or microservice in your Firebase project. For more details, head on over to the post. We're rolling out new insights available directly in the Play Console to help you optimize both subscriber conversion and retention. The updated subscription retention report shows how well you are retaining subscribers, along with how well subscribers convert from free trial, introductory price, and first to second payment. We have also updated the subscription cancellations report to give more insight into voluntary and involuntary cancellations. For more details, head over to the post. Android App Bundle simplified delivering optimized APKs, including instant delivery, by unifying uploads into a single artifact. In Gradle 3.40 and Android Studio 3.4, we are starting the deprecation process of the feature plugin and instant app plugin. If you have an existing instant app built with a feature plugin, migrate to an instant enabled app bundle as soon as possible. To learn more, check out the post. Coral is a platform for building intelligent devices with local AI, offering a complete local AI toolkit that makes it easy to grow your ideas from prototype to production. We're updating the Edge TPU model compiler within Coral to remove the restrictions around specific architectures, releasing a new version of Mendel OS for the dev board, adding new capabilities to Coral with the release of the environmental sensor board, and expanding our distributor network to make it easier to get Coral boards. Get all of the details over at the post. Building upon our pledge to provide mobile developer training to 100,000 Africans to develop world-class apps, we announced the next round of Google Africa Certification Scholarships. This year, we are offering 30,000 additional scholarship opportunities and 1,000 grants for the Google Associate Android Developer, Mobile Web Specialist, and Associate Cloud Engineer certifications. Check out the post to learn more about the scholarships and apply. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. We announced a lot of new stuff at the Cloud Next. <laughs> it's much better that way.